Welcome in my beautiful builders. In today's episode, we're going to take this very boring entrance into my bay and turn it into that. Let's get into it. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome back to the Minecraft Let's Play. You guys, you guys are absolutely amazing. It's, it's just been an absolute roller coaster on the channel lately. We've gained like 600 subscribers since this series has started. I just want to say thank you. It, oh, are you wondering where we are? Oh, this is my mining area. The, remember that Haze 2 beacon we got? Yeah, I've cleared out a lot and even though i've cleared out a lot it still may not be enough not for what we're doing today today is a big build we're stepping it up a notch no more starter house although we're still going to be using the starter house but no more baby bases it's time to get serious and i think that the perfect place to start with our kingdom is going to be the bay area the entrance into the kingdom the ports into the kingdom all of that is so important and i think it is the perfect place for us to start so that's what we're going to do today we are going to get in the main entrance the main barrier from the outside world into our kingdom we're going to get it in today i think i think we're going to get it in today i'm hoping i have enough time and enough materials so the entrance into our bay area is going to be pretty important. It's kind of the first look at our kingdom. And because of that, I think that we need to go massive. We need to go very, very large scale here. So I've come up with a bit of a plan. As you can see here, I do have some stone already going in the water, connecting up this cliffside here all the way across the bay to the other cliffside over here. You remember that big dark spooky cave from the first episode? Yeah, we're gonna connect all the way past that and make this entire area a bay with ships and things like that in the future. But for right now, I wanna get in a grand entrance. So I'm thinking massive walls right here, massive walls on the other side, and then in between, we're gonna have two really big towers with a nice, gate in between letting things in and out of the city that's the general idea but when i say big i'm talking like these walls are going to be like like 17 blocks high 17 blocks going out of the water or maybe 15 i don't know i haven't decided yet but now i guess is the time to decide because we're starting that's right these are our first blocks this is this is gonna take a lot of stone if I'm going 17 high. But like, 17 blocks, right? 17 blocks, how high, how high is that? Okay, 17 blocks, that's, that's actually not too bad. It's kind of hard to tell exactly how tall that is with it up against a background of stone, but, I mean, it doesn't feel too tall and it doesn't feel too, too short either. Let's keep going. I feel like this is a good number. I sure hope that 17 was actually a good number because I committed. I committed. Whoa. Yep, yep, I would say that's a wall. That's definitely a wall. I don't think I'm gonna have enough stone for today's episode. I really don't. <laughs> I still have the whole other side to do and it's like twice as long at least. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just go for it. We may just have to make a facade today. We may only have to, we may only get to do like one layer of this instead of layering it back like I wanted to. But hey, isn't that the true meaning of Minecraft? Making things beautiful on the outside and then, you know, not doing, not doing the inside. Okay, so in order to give you just a bit of a reference as to how much stone this is, too high wall, right? That's all we have over here going from there all the way to the edge over there is six stacks plus 20 just to go too high and we're going 17 high you think we're gonna have enough stone i can tell you right now i don't think i'm going to have enough stone i think i'm gonna have to do a few more mining sessions on the bright side i do now have mending on this pickaxe so I don't have to worry about it breaking, but 
I don't exactly have a good experience farm either, so I may have to actually trade with villagers in order to simply get experience at this point. An XP farm should really go onto the to-do list. All right, all right, perfect. I now have this entire wall in and I had enough stone. In fact, I have a fair amount of stone left. However, I don't know that I'm gonna have enough to do both of the towers, do the gate in between, as well as add in the backside of these walls. So these walls may stay as like a facade today. Just the front done. We'll, we'll have to do the back later, I think. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started working on these towers. And I actually already have a design in mind for these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out from the corner of this wall by one block, and then we're gonna come out by another four. So one, two, three, four. So we should have five blocks here. Then we're going to come off by a diagonal, another diagonal, and then this is going to be another side. So one, two, three, four, five. So if we remove these temporary blocks, you should now have something that looks like this. Five blocks, two diagonals, and five blocks. And we're gonna do this over and over until we have a circle. So now that we have our circle in, we're just going to bring all of these blocks up by nine. All right, so now that we have a nice wide base in here for our tower, what I'm gonna do is go back and add in a few blocks just around here so that I can actually place stairs on because my goal here is to make this entire tower kind of shaped like an hourglass. So I want the bottom to be nice and thick. I want it to be slender in the middle and then at the top, I want it to get a little bit thicker again. So in order to accomplish this, we're going to break out the stone brick stairs and we're going to go in by one block all the way around here. So just make kind of a ring all the way around this area to give you a nice little lip. Okay, so stone brick stairs added all the way around and you're also going to notice that we kind of have this block here that I can't wrap stairs because this wall is in the way. And the reason that I did that is eventually I'm going to add outside decoration to this wall with polished andesite. So that decoration is actually going to sit out to here. That's where this wall is going to connect to this tower is at this corner. So there's no real reason for me to go ahead and build all of this up. I'm not going to worry about it for right now because I know what I'm going to do with that. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to swap over to stone because this is where we're going to make the tower look slender. We're going to go in by one block in from these stairs and we're going to make a circle all the way around on the inside. So just like this, we're just going to follow the edge here. And then once we have that done, we're actually going to bring all of this stone way up into the air by 25 blocks. So each one of these blocks is going to be 25 high. And just so I'm clear, that's 25 high total. So that includes this bottom one. So 24 plus this one that we already placed. Does that make sense? I mean, it made sense to me. So I hope it made sense to you. I mean, let's be honest. Are any of you guys actually going to try and rebuild this thing? It's huge. It's huge. I, <laughs> I'm going to bet that nobody else is going to try and rebuild this. Alrighty, so 25 blocks up in the air. If we fall now, it's death. Good thing I have an elytra on. But anyway, uh, 25 blocks up but we're going to have to go up just one more block higher and a little bit down. And I guess let me explain that. We need to make a transition from the top of our tower that it's going to go up here to this shaft bit that's here because otherwise that transition is just going to look very stark. It's going to look like a tube sticking into the bottom of your main tower bit up top. So we want to add a bit of a transition to the top of this. And the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna come up by one more block and then at these corners where we have no blocks right now, we're actually going to go down by three here. So it will be one and then it'll be one underneath that and then one up to this point up here. And the center block, we're going to go 
five down. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, and then one below that. If I can nail this, boom, just like that. So it'll be five total, even with that. And then the last hole that's in this middle gap, we're once again going to go three. So one, two, three. So three, five, three. And then down the middle, we're just going to go across. And then here, we're going to do three. So one, two, three. And then here, we're going to do five. So one, I'm actually gonna go down here. Two, three, four, five, just like that. And then three in the middle here. One, two, three. And the reason that we're doing this is so that we add a bit of a transition from the long slender part of our tower to the beefier part up here. And we're going to actually add stairs to the outside of that top block as well to add even more transition. But it's just so that things look a little bit more balanced. It gives you a nice corner rather than just straight lines going up. Alrighty, so now that we have this, the next part is easy peasy. All you're gonna do is come with your stone brick stairs. One, two, three, upside down just like that. And then this one, you're going to try and get it to corner itself, going into this block rather than uh, straight. So what we're gonna do is kind of point it toward this block so that it does that curve inward to this block. And then at our corners here, upside down stair that way, and then upside down stair that way. Okay, so we got the basic part of the build done. Now comes the complex part. This is by far the most complex part of the entire thing. The tops of these towers, they are incredibly detailed, but that's good, that's good. It's going to make them really stand out. So let's just start right up here at the, at the bottom, at the bottom of the top. The bottom of the top, get it? Like it's the, it's the, okay, it makes sense to me, all right? All right, so bottom of the top, what we're going to do is come out here on the stone brick stairs and we're gonna go up by six with andesite. That's right, another block, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're basically gonna do this all the way around on top of all of those stone bricks. And then on the corner of this, it's time to start adding in a little bit of trim. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this water down here just a little ways, just a little ways. We're gonna place a temporary andesite block and then we're gonna come up with spruce logs all the way up and then strip it down. Nice, that is going to be a nice little bit of a different color. And we're actually gonna be introducing a good bit of spruce wood up to the top of these towers. I really wanted to keep the bottom a lot of stone textures, but toward the top, getting it a different color just so that uh, everything's not so plain, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna really change up the build and make it pop a little bit more. So right down here and go ahead and bring those spruce logs up and then don't forget to strip it down. <laughs> And this part is easy, easy, easy. Log there, log here, and then slap, 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 and strip, strip, and then last but not least, stair, stair, and then over here, stair, stair. Easy, boys. Now, you see this block here? This one, right here in the corner? Up by seven, boys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven. All right, new challenge for you guys. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now what you gotta do, take out your ax and you have to strip everyone on the way down, okay? If you can do it, send me a video on Twitter. You gotta do all seven. Ready? Ah, I missed two, I missed two. All right, what do you guys got? All right, let's see, let's see. If I jump beforehand, can I do it? No, I still suck. Okay, all right, this is, a, this is a hard challenge. Good luck, everybody. I guess I could also mention that this is actually going to be the top floor, so you can put in a floor if you're worried about dying. I mean, I'm a, I'm a professional Minecrafter, so I'm, I'm definitely not gonna put in a floor. I'm just, I'm just gonna, you know, live life on the edge the rest of my life. All right, so now you see these pieces, this corner, that corner, bring them up even to that. So all the way up another seven blocks here, 
and then another seven blocks here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Counting with Killadrone. So in the corners, you should now have something that looks like this and easy peasy. Block there and block there. Beautiful. Now on top of these pretty smooth blocks that you just placed, what you're gonna do is take some temporary blocks, can be anything, and go up four. One, two, three, four, and then oak log, oak log, and then you guys know the drill, strip them down. Nice. And for the doorways, what you're gonna do is one, two, three, upside down stair. One, two, three, upside down stair on that fourth block. You're gonna place an andesite on top of both of those, and then an upside down stair, just like that. And then we're gonna have to build up a little bit so that we can reach the rest. On top of that upside down stair, put another andesite, and then a stair facing this way, upside down, and then this way, upside down absolutely beautiful and then you can just kind of kind of cap that off with andesite right there and absolutely beautiful all four sides okay this is not a floor this is not a floor this is a ledge a safety ledge not a floor definitely not a floor i'm too pro gamer for a floor just just a ledge Alrighty, so now it is time to get the first of our two roofs on this tower. That's right, I'm gonna do a two-tiered roof for this tower because it's a little bit complicated and I figured it would be a good thing to show you guys since on the starter house video, some of you guys said that you struggle with doing roofs for towers. So here's another option. Rather than just a simple cone, this one is a bit more complex though. So bear with me as I try to explain it. So the first thing that you're going to do is three spruce planks off the edge of your center block. So center block, one off the edge. You're gonna do that every single side. Three planks sticking out just like that. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come with slabs on top of there. So one, two, three, four, and you're going to overhang by one. So you should have one slab going out from those planks. You're gonna do the exact same thing on all of these sides. One, two, three, four. And then on the other side, five. And then same thing here, just like this. And then last but not least, same thing over here. So you should have five slabs on each and every side now. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to place slabs on top of each one of these pieces of log. And we're going to do that all the way around as well just right the way around the entire build. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to place a spruce plank here and a spruce plank here on each side of that spruce log that is coming up and then a spruce slab right here, right below where this slab is. So it's kind of a drop down from this corner here. Now what we're gonna do is do the exact same thing on every side. So on each side of the spruce have a plank and then on this block here you're going to go one slab down same thing on this side one slab down okay so now that you have those slabs that are lowered on this level you remember those three planks that you put in the middle where you're going to go down by a half slab on these planks so just like that go ahead and remove this one and then slab slab and you're actually going to connect up to where you're even with this slab here. So basically just straight across. And the reason that you do those three planks like that is so that you have a little bit of a gap on the underside of your roof. So you can see there's just a little bit of a difference there. It's not much, it's subtle, but it does make a difference to add shadows to your build. Now you're just gonna do that on every side. You're going to add a slab down here and just do five across just like so it is raining again dude what is wrong with minecraft 1.18 it rains literally all the time it's like every other day in minecraft now it's it's absolutely ridiculous absolutely insane anyway the next part of our roof is on top of these walls so what we're going to do is three blocks in the middle three planks and then a spruce slab here and a spruce slab there, you're gonna do the exact same thing on every side. One, two, three, spruce slab, spruce slab. Do that on every side. 
All right, so to finish this lower roof off, it's pretty simple. You're going to come over to your corners. You're going to place slab, slab, plank in between those, and then another slab. And then off of your three blocks in the center here that we just placed a second ago, you're going to come out with a slab just like that. And then you're going to place a slab on each side. What you should be left with is a one block gap right here in the middle between this and this. This is going to be where our next roof pillars end up coming up. But for right now, don't worry about that. Just go slab, slab, plank, and another slab. And what they should do is even out right here with a one block gap in the middle. Now, in order to get your second roof in, what you're gonna do is come to these gaps, place down whatever block you want. I want stone brick for this layer, and I'm going to come up one, two, three, and then also three walls. I'm going to use andesite walls, but you can use whatever you want. And now that we are up here on this top roof, it is a simple cone. Speaking of which, I would like to mention that if you guys don't know how to make cones and things like that in Minecraft, I'll actually leave a link in the description to one of the resources that I use whenever I don't know how to make a specific shape, such as a circle or a cone or anything like that. There is actually a tool that you can use online that will let you create these shapes. I believe the website is called Plots. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description down below for that though. But you're just building a simple cone here. Let's get to it. And ladies and gentlemen, with the sun setting, let's take our first look at our first tower. There's still more detailing and stuff to be done, but that's looking pretty good thus far. That is looking pretty good indeed. Okay, time to do some touching up. So this is a point in a build where the small stuff really, really matters. Just little trim pieces like this dark oak wood that I'm adding in here. Just a couple of dark oak slabs on the corner pieces of this top roof. Here, here, and then on each one of those edges there. And that's just going to add a little bit of pop to the overall build. The color palette for this build does not really include any dark oak except for this and the only reason that I'm including it here is to add pop to add color to draw the eye toward that roof so if we take a look at it now it's very subtle very very subtle but you can notice a difference it adds a small darker tone to the overall build I absolutely love it let's go ahead and take down this crafting table and I think that's all that we need to do up here on this second roof so something to keep in mind is normally it's not the big things that make a build look great. A lot of the times it's just the small things. The small things that are going to catch your eye in a different way are what makes really good builds stand out from the rest. So things like this, one, two blocks up on this corner post that's going all the way up, one, two, and we're just going to add in a stair. Just two stairs, just like that, and it's just something different. Something different for the eye to look at. I've already done it on the other side. And there you go. There you go. A nice little piece of trim. It doesn't change a whole lot, but it's just something else. It's something else. We're also going to add a window right here in the middle. It's probably best for me to do that from the inside. All right, so bust out a wall just like this. Couple of fence posts on each side. Some spruce trap doors on top of those fence posts and a little slab in the middle. And that should be a fairly nice little window that we can do on each side of the build. Nice. And I think for the most part, that is this tower complete. Let me go ahead and finish this other one up. And that is looking pretty good. Looking pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, there's still some work to be done on each of the towers. I need to blend the andesite down into the stone, the stone up into the andesite, the stone down into the stone bricks, and the stone bricks up into the stone. However, I think for today, that's good. I think for today, that's good for work on the towers. There's other things that I want to add to these towers in the future anyway, such as I wanted to add some big crystals on the upper inside. So inside the tower, but 
up in the uh, actual tower portion up here. I wanted to have like some glowing crystals up inside of each one of those sections, but getting a load of glass right now is a problem because I have yet to find a desert and I don't have a villager that trades glass right now. So that's gonna be some future upgrades for these towers anyway. So I think what I wanna work on last for today is getting in the wall decoration just a little bit. I don't know if I want to do the whole thing or else this video is going to be super late, which it already is late, but I would at least like to get it to where it looks like it's finished, even though it's not. And in order to do that, we're going to need a lot of andesite. I still have some left. We're good. Okay, so for the walls, this is kind of what I was thinking. Basically, I'm going to treat this stone that we already have here as a sort of backplate, as a backdrop, and all of this polished andesite is going to be our accent pieces. This is what's going to really give the detail to the entire wall. So I'm going to bring it up the entire length of the wall, and then I want to do a decorative piece up here at the top. Basically, some type of arch decoration, maybe something on top of the wall as well. Just something that's going to basically bring the entire wall to, you know, a little bit more interest. Right now it's, you know, extremely bland as just a plain stone wall. So anything that I can do to fix that is what I'm going to try. So what I'm thinking is a upside down stair like this, how we have it and then a polished andesite there, another upside down stair like this, a polished andesite there, and then another upside down stair there. And then what I can do is go one step further and place some, oh, if we cannot fall, <laughs> that would be great. I would like to place some upside down stairs on the bottoms of these as well. I don't know that I can reach that one. Let's move this water bucket over and professional. Oh, nope, not professional. Professional just fell. <laughs> I want to place an upside down stair on this as well. And there we go. And then back here, what we can do is just fill in these last couple of blocks with some polished andesite as well. It's going to cost us a lot of andesite to do this, but I think it'll look pretty cool when we're done with it. So Something a little bit like that. We'll probably add, I don't know, some kind of wall decoration up here. Maybe just some of these for right now, but eventually something better than just that. And let's actually see what we have here. Okay. All right. Not bad. Not bad. We definitely need to get this arch in though, or else that's going to look a little bit funny. So I think what we'll do is we'll come up here and we'll just do like a really, really simple arch and see how it looks. So maybe something like this with a block and then like that. And then this, a block and like that. And in the middle, we'll just leave it like that for now. We may have to add something in there, but let's see what we got. Yes. Yes, I like that. However, I do think we need an accent color. We need something something that pops. Okay, so hear me out. Polished deep slate, cobblestone walls. I think this will work. Just stick that in that corner, that in that corner, and then there, and there with cobblestone walls in between. Huh? Huh? Let's see. <laughs> I actually like it. I actually like it. It looks a little bit funny right now just because of the pure stone background. Once we mix in some stone bricks and stuff, I think that's going to look really, really cool. Oh, we nailed it. Okay, now we have to repeat this pattern all the way down each side. Or maybe we could just do one side. What about one side? That, that's, that side seems like a lot of work. Actually, I ended up finding a couple of pretty quick ways to speed this up. So this actually won't take me very long at all to detail these walls out. <laughs> like, at all. <laughs> nice little dive from the wall. That's awesome. And then all I have to do is the top. And 
Not bad, not bad. And the top is just a pattern, so I can hang over the edge and do block stair, block stair, block stair, all the way down. So, not bad, not bad. This is actually a pretty easy to de design to replicate. You know, I gotta say that even without this fully completed, this thing is looking awesome. We still don't have the gate in between the towers and all, but I'm already loving this. I'm already loving this. Okay, so time to start planning out the gate portion itself. And this is kind of the general shape that I'm thinking of. Just kind of curved down toward the edges and then flat in the middle. And I think that'll look really good with the gate being underneath here in the middle. Then we can go ahead and add in a nice roof up top. And I think that this whole thing will really start looking like one piece. Also, check out how spooky those caves look, partially lit up at nighttime. <laughs> that is so creepy. Also, in a future episode this week, I have to go on an adventure. This is getting absolutely ridiculous trying to get into places to build. I need scaffolding. I need a place to collect sand from. I need... I need a lot of stuff in this world, so we really, really need to go out adventuring pretty badly. Okay, so this thing's coming together, but we definitely need to go ahead and get the roof on this bit. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to do a two-toned roof, so I'll do like the outer edge in dark oak, and then the fill-in block is going to be spruce. So probably going to be completely stairs, maybe slabbing the peak of the roof but I'm just gonna go straight across from one tower to the other tower. And we're just gonna keep this really simple. I don't think we need to get too complex with this roof. I think it'll be fine. And with that roof in, I have to say, looking much better, looking much better. The roof is a bit plain, so I may go in and add a couple of outcroppings with some windows up at the top, mostly just for decorative so that it doesn't, you know, look so plain up there. But I think overall, that's exactly what I was going for. So I may go back and add some of those, but I think the next big thing that we need to get in is the gate itself. So I'm actually going to do a different style of gate than just the normal fences all across the top. I'm actually going to alternate fences and cobblestone walls. And then I'm also going to have a type of latch here in the middle. That's kind of my idea. Let's see if I can pull it off. Okay, so this stone that's been sitting in the middle here is actually the center point between this tower and this tower. So that should also mean that it is the center point of our bridge. So as long as I go back a little bit and center myself here as well, I should be able to put my gate right dead center here. Now all I need to do is figure out a height that I want my gate to kind of sit at. So... I'm thinking I want it to come down a little bit, but I don't know that I want it to come down a ton. So maybe I have the bottom of the latch sit here. Let's see what that looks like. Um, Maybe lower, maybe a bit lower. Yeah, there we go. I just lowered it down by two blocks. I think that looks a lot better. Okay, so now I'm gonna put kind of a centerpiece latch here, and then I'm going to run cobblestone walls over to each edge. And then in between those cobblestone walls, I will also add in fences. So walls across like this, and then fences up and down with cobblestone walls also up and down every other block. So it's gonna be kind of a weird pattern, but I think it's going to work. And the finishing touch, and beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I think this project turned out looking so good. Let's actually see this thing in the daytime, though. <laughs> oh, this looks pretty awesome during the day, too, I'm not going to lie. Oh, this turned out so, so, so good. I love it. Now, there's still plenty of work to be done on the entire entrance as a whole. We still need to texture the back wall. We need to texture the towers. We need to get the crystals in at the top once I finally find a desert and get glass. And I also want to put in windows up on the top of this 
uh, walkway in between on top of the actual gate itself. So plenty that I still want to do with this build. But ladies and gentlemen, we are absolutely out of time for today's video. This has been an extraordinarily long one. And if you guys are still sticking around to this point in the video, I just want to say thank you. You are a real MVP because this was a huge, huge episode. And as a reward for sticking around to the very end of the video, here you go, ladies and gentlemen. There is the seed. Please don't post it in the comment section down below. I would like this to be the only way for people to get the seed for this world. But there you go. It is on screen now. You can copy it. You can use it in your own world. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, that is going to be it for me today. I do hope that you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video. As well as if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. You guys have a great day.